You're listening to the Visionary Lifestyle Podcast, the show that's dedicated to raising consciousness and empowering you to activate your highest potential. I'm your host, Magda Freedom Rod. Greetings, beloved Rainbow Warriors. Welcome to the second show of the eighth season of the Visionary Lifestyle Podcast. Welcome back to the show. I'm coming to you today from Goa, India, where I've been for a couple of months now, teaching and learning and teaching again. And wow, it is such a blessing to be here spending time in the nourishing Arabian Sea and sun. Holy guacamole. I'm really loving India. Goa is a special place. Uh, Today's guest is Gwyn Williams. Gwyn has been teaching his entire adult life, earlier as a physical education teacher, martial arts instructor, and later as a yoga teacher and Zen Thai facilitator. His passion for alternative therapies and connecting his heart with his hands led him to teaching Zen Shiatsu at his created Mount Nindiri Healing Center in 1999. Since this initial class, he's become a national and international teacher of his own form of bodywork movement and awareness that he calls Zen Tai. I met Gwyn at the Bali Spirit Festival and took a few of his classes and was completely impressed with just about every word that came out of his mouth and every um, practical thing that he showed us. And I was really taken with his energy and uh, wanted to make sure to get his voice and his wisdom on the show for you. And I have to share from his website his explanation of what Zen Tai is to give you an understanding of who Gwyn is. It says, on the surface, we may see a creative form of bodywork integrating techniques and philosophy from Zen Shiatsu, Thai massage and osteopathy. However, at its core, it's an invitation to freedom. Freedom not only of the structural and energetic bodies, but also, if we are adventurous enough, also the mental and emotional. Experiencing true freedom is not about taking on anything new, but more so about letting go of the traps and blockages within our body-mind that prevent us from experiencing our true nature, which is to be joyful and free. It becomes the focused intention for both giver and receiver using tools such as touch, breath, movement, awareness, and honest self-inquiry that is not confined to a yoga mat or futon, but each moment of our daily life. How about that, guys? I found Gwen to be an experienced and passionate advocate and educator for wellness in both energy and form. He's a bright light himself, and I'm so proud to share this uplifting information-packed episode with you. Make sure you got a notebook. Today, Gwyn walks us through what in Chinese medicine is known as the three treasures. This is really useful information to grasp and find ways to integrate into your daily life for better health and vitality. Gwyn does give us some practical tips for cultivating and caring for your three treasures, so make sure that you do take notes. Check out the show notes in iTunes to get links to Gwyn's website and schedule. Enjoy and namaste. Gwyn Williams, welcome to the show. It's nice to be here, sitting in a... (laughs) A rice field on the edge of a rice field with you. It's right. nice to be here, yeah. yeah. It feels a, a little bit surreal, but it's, it's special. <laughs> I know, this life we've chosen and created, yeah. it, it is surreal sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I suppose we, 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 we're, we're creating all the time, but there's definitely moments I've just got to go, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Here's one right now. <laughs> yeah, here's one right now. Yes, I will post um, in the show notes and with the blog article, I'll post a photo of this scene where we got to do this, mm-hmm. this interview. We are so blessed. Mm. So we've just come out of one of your classes. Mm-hmm. This was your third class here at the Bali Spirit. Uh, actually, it was That's my fifth. Fifth, wow. Yeah, I did five classes. Busy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah it, was busy, it was a busy few days. Was yeah. this the last one? It was. Okay. Yeah, this was the last wow. class. Yeah, yeah. Exhale. You yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Listen, I love sharing with the group. It's yeah. something we've been doing for a long time. So I can see beautiful. that you love what you do. That really yeah. comes through. Yeah. And um, it's contagious because yeah. 
um, I'm definitely walking out of that class feeling like I learned a lot mm. and um, mm. you know I feel my Shen activated. Great, great. <laughs> I'm happy for that. Yeah, there's a lot of Shen in this festival. It's an amazing festival <laughs> is when that's cons when when you talk about the Shen isn't it? Mm -hmm. I know. I do lots of festivals and I think this one it's just so much heart energy. Mm -hmm. Is it because there's so many flowers in Bali? Is that why? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why, but a lot of people here are talking about love and the yeah. heart, and yeah. it's, it's all just resonating. It does. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like a, Bali seems to really to be a magical vortex. Mm. It is unlike mm. any other place mm. I travel to. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for yeah. sure. And they say it's like the healing center right, it is. of the world. Like, yeah. Yeah, what is it? 14th century. It was just the. This was the. They said it was the meditation caves for all the sadhus. Oh, really? That That's what they know. say. Before the nine royal families came and hanged out in Ubud, they say the sadhus were just hanging out here in caves because this was the place where there was the light. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> No in wonder Rishikesh, what, I guess, right? Yeah, well, hey, I've just come from Rishikesh, so that's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we must follow each other. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's definitely something special here, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, pe people sometimes, there's the rubbish tip and it's busy now, and it, there is these problems, but there's, yeah. the magic is still here, isn't there? Yeah. yeah, and hopefully enough people will get activated to bring the solutions to those issues, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. it's definitely got crunch point, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. really sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm, time. I, I just made it to the ocean for the first time here down in Changu, and I arrived about a week ago and mm. I was pretty shocked yeah, at yeah. looking yeah, at the water. I was yeah. heartbroken and yeah. like, oh, it's like that. You're swimming in garbage, literally. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. heartbreaking. Mm. But mm. there are solutions to these things. Sure. So. Sure. Um, so today I would love to jump into and talk about the three treasures. The three treasures? Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. This is a, you, I, I wish I had my recorder going when you yeah. gave your little speech before yeah. the class because yeah. I, I would really like to share this information mm. with my audience yeah. and if we can, um, as much as possible on just audio without video, mm. um, uh, give people some practical tools mm. that they can use mm. to help activate these energy centers yeah, in their sure. body. Sure. Well, the thing I love about the three treasures, and I suppose aspects that I pull from Chinese medicine, is that it's simple. Mm -hmm. You know, it's simple, it's practical, it's yeah. something that we can um, access daily. Um, and, 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 and it's, I suppose it's tapping into an, an inner environment to make the outer environment so much more easeful for us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I always say the software creates the hardware. So this, soft, this software, these three treasures, our software, is really creating our physical structure. It, it's creating our, our relationships. It's probably creating the opportunities that we have in every day that are coming to us. So there's something special about these three treasures. I've been playing around with them for a long time. Um, and I suppose I taught children for a few years, quite some time when I was in my 20s. So I love things that are doable and simple. <laughs> yeah, simple enough for kids to learn. Yeah, yeah it is. Can you can bring it, it in. Yeah. So yeah, I suppose you know, the three treasures of, 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 of Jing and, and, and Qi and Shen, which is what we call in Chinese medicine, the the lower and the middle and upper jowl. So, um, uh, the lower jowl, which is where the jing is. So this is this is something that is really we call preserved in China. It's the elixir. It's the ojas. It's our essence. In Ayurveda would be known as the ojas. It, it's ojas, yeah. yeah. It, you know, it gets mixed up with kidney energy, which is not exactly what jing is. Jing mixes with the kidney energy, which, which we can, f kidney energy is the leftover, if you like, energy in our bank account when we haven't used it all up. So we, it's like what we don't use through activity and through stress and through mental activity throughout the day, through our organs, gets put back into the kidney energy and then is mixed with the Jing, which then creates a reservoir, mm -hmm. which is the reservoir of Qi. Which, every, which then supports the rest of the body. So the Jing, if you like, is something that was given to you from your parents. They say it was at its optimal when you were 14. 14 years 14 old. Years old. Oh. Yeah, and, um, and from that stage, you know, that, that's when you've still got your prenatal essence happening. And from that stage on, there is a certain amount of decline depending what your lifestyle is like. And if you look at some people from 14 to 21, there's a lot of recklessness there. Mm -hmm. And it's not really in your face of how much you're drawing from that, what I call that bank account. Mm -hmm. And you maybe see it later when you're, when you're 40. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, um, fourteen, yeah, because you know that this is, and you, you'll see, you, you'll see people at fourteen, at fourteen that have just got bounce, you know, they've got bounce in their steps, you know, mm -hmm. and then you look at a, you look at a twelve-year-old, it's just springing with energy, it's just massive amounts of jing, and and it's you know, we, we, it's, it's, it's it is. Uh, Dependent a lot actually of what your mum was doing when you were a little embryo and in her, your mum's belly. There's a big phase of Jing in there. How old were your parents? Mm -hmm. um, so, in utero, yeah. it makes a big difference yeah, yeah. how the mother yeah, yeah. treats her body and big time. her energy. Big time, big time. Yeah. How old was dad? What was, what was actually even happening in the moment of conception? You know? mm. So, there's a lot of little plays they say with Jing. Mm. Um, you see some people that actually get given, if you like, uh, not so generously in this account, mm -hmm. actually d develop really awesome lifestyle choices because they have to be careful. Mm -hmm. They can't be so reckless, mm -hmm. you know. They, well, you know what, my immune system isn't so strong. My bones are a bit frail. I've got to eat really good food. I've got to develop some really good lifestyle practices. Mm -hmm. And that can really support you if you do that, you know, teenage 20s 30s and some people I don't know I've got friends that are wild and so massively in party mode for 20 years yeah. from 10 to 30 because they were given this great jing they were indestructible and then uh -huh. 40 comes along you know what wow I've got some bad lifestyle choices here and 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 I've suffered from it so mm. you know I wouldn't say it's always that you've been given the 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 wrong side of the coin. Sometimes it's like it's like anything. Mm -hmm. The obstacles or the the medicine is is sometimes the medicine is in the obstacles. So sometimes right. you know, there's medicine in, in having the, the not so, not given such a good account. Mm -hmm. Ultim ultimately though is, is to get educated when you're young and and say well this is this is this is something that is it has has a has a, a lid on it. It's not something that I can keep drawing from and keeps getting pulled from. I pull from it and it gets it's lower and lower and lower. Yeah, yeah. It's not replenishable. Yeah. It's not a renewable sure. resource. So. so, you know, I was, uh, I, I represented Australia in mountain running So as a 20-year-old. Mm. So I knew, and I had boundless amounts of monkey. I was a monkey, you know, running up yeah. and down. I was a fighter. So I, mm. And I had pretty good lifestyle choices actually. I was growing up in all, you know, around organic eating and things like that. But you know, I definitely saw in my mid thirties when I was studying Chinese medicine. You know what? I'm I'm definitely pulling on this jing when I run 100 k's every week and mm -hmm. doing things like this. So it, it, it's been a, it's it's really good to get educated on on ways to preserve it mm -hmm. and and also ways that you can deplete it. Yeah. Um, the Chinese are clever. They're in. The, the Jing Tom in the morning, first thing before the sun comes up, walking bare feet on the grass, mm. doing breathing exercises, breathing to the lower the RTN, mm. you know, and, and making sure there's restoration going on. Mm. Um, or even preservation more than restoration, I would say. Right, so this is preserving that. It's preserving, that yeah, yeah, it's preserving it and, 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 and making sure there's connection and every, it, it's like this, not too much, not too much. This moderation principle is big in Jing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they say that the kidneys is the Jing. The kidneys is about the ears. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh -huh. listen, you know, listen to a deeper, I, I say, listen, listen to a music or a rhythm that's outside the surface. There's the, the, the life's talking to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing that came to mind for me when you started talking about the jing in the class was these days that when I when I run around so busy and I real I, and I can make the connection that my my adrenaline is just bleeding. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I'm just bleeding yeah, energy yeah. and adrenaline. And yeah, I'm yeah. just so stressed. You yeah, know. Sure, sure, sure. And that's that's what it is. Right? I'm sure. just depleting my, sure. my jing is, on is these it, days. Yeah. yeah? So well, the kidneys yourself. and the adrenals are, are yeah. they're hyphenated in Chinese medicine. When they're talking about kidney energy, they're talking about adrenal energy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's 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 yeah yeah our flight and fight mechanisms, which yeah. which, which you know which is why we love barley, isn't it? Yeah. That switches that off. I see people just hanging out in hammocks a lot more here. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you know that's that stuff that does the jing. Mm -hmm. But as you saw in the class, we if the jing is just sitting there as a big pot that's cold and not used mm -hmm. if there's no fire it's not it doesn't work either right you gotta so, light the flame under the cauldron yeah. yeah i like this goldilocks principle that my friend talks about it's not too much not too too less you know mm -hmm. so it's fine you need some fire 
Yeah. We need some fire. We need to. We need to move. Mm -hmm. We need to. We need to move the energy. We need to have a movement. It's just, it's just being conscious of when we overdo it. Okay. Um, it's great to move. You know, energy creates energy. We know that. Right. So you, you know, see the qigong and tai chi practices, and you, you see them slipping into yoga practices everywhere now mm -hmm. because people are waking up with this elixir. Don't don't keep dragging from it right you know yoga isn't meant to be a workout it's meant right. to be something that actually fuels you and connects you into a deeper source <laughs> you know come that's on that's gonna be the quote for this, yeah. <laughs> this episode yeah beautiful yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you for that yeah. right so yeah. okay so there's jing and that's located they're located in different areas of so the this is what they call well, right? the lower jowl which is predominantly from the navel down okay yeah. We think of it, it's more like sacral chakra, right? Sacral, yeah, yeah it's there, yeah, the sacral, system. ground chakra system. Yeah. The lower two chakras. Yeah, yeah, and okay. then if you look in, in then if you, you, you look in Ayurveda, mm -hmm. you know, which is, you know, Vata, you can say that we when there's lots of Vata, mm -hmm. lots of nervous energy, lots of movement, yeah. which they say the, the seed of Vata is from the navel down, right. there's a lot of drawing from the jing. Okay. Yeah. So if you haven't got the kidney chi, you know, if you haven't, if the kidney chi isn't there, like from your food, and which we'll talk about in the nourishment in a moment, mm -hmm. if the kidney chi isn't there, which you've got from food and sunlight and, and, and relationships and friends and ocean and water and all these things that we get kidney chi from, it'll, and, and you're drawing and there's nothing there, what's it going to draw from? It's going to draw from the jing. Yeah. And then you, and then then it draws that bit and that bit and that bit and that bit. Mm -hmm. and there's a certain amount of jing that gets dried up anyway. You will see that in menopause, okay? Mm -hmm. When you see that the yin starts to dry a little bit, people get a bit more frail. The skin is more frail, so that's it's happening naturally anyway. Yeah. So you know, this 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 that's that's like preserve. Yeah. You know? Preserve. Prevention and preservation. Yeah, and better yeah. done when you're, you know, forties, fifties, or even before, rather than, you know, what I've been reckless for sixty years. I'm starting now. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Let's start today. Yeah. How about today? Yeah. For it's today. It's good time. Listening. It's good time. <laughs> it's good time for sure. Hey, there's no no heaven moment than today. It's right. For sure. Yeah. Listen. So then the second, if you like, treasure, the three treasures. If we, if we look at it, is is nourishment or chi. It's where we get chi, and, and chi is uh, prana or lom or ki. It's said it's many. It's life force. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. It's in food. It's in sunlight. It's in water. Pranayama. Pranayama. It's in breath. It's everywhere. So it's it's this keeping the, this center alive. So this is moving in and out of us all the time. So it's making chi is about good lifestyle choices, really, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's changes from every day we get up and it's and it, it, this this treasure is about nourishment you know so we want to we want to make sure we're being nourished your yeah, food becomes our blood and our cheese so make good choices with your food mm -hmm. you know the people that we are around can expand us and fuel us well actually they can deplete and and and, and right. negate us energy so, vampires yeah so you know make good choices who you hang out with yeah environment you know are you hanging out in steel cities with air conditioned offices are we hanging out in rice fields rice with lots field. of green you know? right you know what do they say in in china go look at the green just look at the green immediately mm -hmm. you're being nourished oh, yeah. yeah and how do we relate you that, know? that's one of the reasons the folly is so nourishing yeah. it's like a giant heart chakra here everything's green <laughs> And this yeah. one is located more a solar plexus, is that right? Solar plexus, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a butterfly surrounding. Beautiful. <laughs> you could say you could say there's a stillness in it too. You could you, you could say that the Jing is is more Yin. It's it's the Yin. It's the lower half, and then the Shen, which we'll talk about in a moment, is the Yang, and then the Qi is is in the middle. So it's the in between the Yin and the Yang. So they can say it's the space of stillness and strength and safety oh. so there's a bit of earth element energy involved here oh. you could say that the spleen slash pancreas slash stomach liver gallbladder these meridians or these organs are, are related around nourishment and, and top detoxification so oh. in chinese medicine we're talking about qi we're talking about blood as well there's like two sides of the same once of the same coin oh. um, we're talking about these are the organs, you know, liver, spleen, gallbladder, mm -hmm. stomach stuff. Like so they're playing to to, to nourish us. Mm -hmm. you no, know, Ayurveda are big on nourishment. They they're big on this one. Right. Yeah. They're Food as medicine. Food as medicine, mm -hmm. and they're big about keeping the agni. Right. That fire. Fire. That digestive happening. fire yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah that, yeah. It's, it's about mm -hmm. the world of form. You know, you see in Chinese medicine, because I've been playing with both. Uh, 
Chinese medicine is big on energy, big on energy. It's that probably really good on keeping Jing as a focus. Mm -hmm. And um, Ayurveda is big on form. It's big on nourishment, so it's big on this chi guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's big on the world of form, the things that we see. What's the metabolism doing? What's the strength of the digestive system? Mm -hmm. Is it making that transition from food into blood well? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not right. what we eat, it, it, it's what we digest. Right, because what time are we eating? Yeah, what we digest, yeah. yeah, yeah. So then we go, yeah. yeah. So then we hear the other story of what's being digested, what's nourishing, is, is yoga, thoughts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the thoughts that nourish you? Mm -hmm. So be impeccable with your word, you know, as Don Ruse would say. Right. You know, the words that Lord you are Raymond. saying to each other, the words that you're talking to yourself, the narrative, mm -hmm. that can be nourishing or it can be actually quite debilitating. I'm not enough. It's the pandemic, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not enough. So you're just making yourself sick. You know. Mm -hmm. So watch, watch how we nourish ourselves with those narratives. Mm. So this is all part of Jing. You're saying this is part of this the nourishment. Part, yeah. This is part of Qi. Oh, Qi. Sorry. Qi. qi. Yeah. This is the Qi. Right. The Qi. So it's you know people just say, oh, Qi's about the food that I. It's not. Mm. It's the words that I say. It's yeah. the thoughts that I have. It's mm. the people I hang out with. It's right. it's where I lie. It's when do it's a, it's when do I sleep. It's mm -hmm. it, it's the water you drink. It's, it's balance. Yeah. 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 Water's big. Mm. Water's huge. Mm -hmm. you drink good water. Yeah. 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 Drink good quality water. Yeah. Spring yeah. water, ideally, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and the big thing, seven liters a day. You know, it's. Seven. But I heard this once, you know, not one, a few times years ago when this water thing came out. Eat, eat, drink all this water. Two, three, four liters. You know, people are drowning themselves in water, just drowning the drowning the digestive fire. Yeah, that's too much, right? Yeah, it's wait. like two or three a day. No? Well, I would even say listen to the body again. You know, mm -hmm. some people two or three will be good. Some people that have got lots of holding lots of fluid, maybe half a liter is all you need today. Really? Oh. Now you got to listen to one. Once we step into the the, the rule book, right. <laughs> we are confining ourselves, and we're actually taking away our innate healing mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So I would say, take in as much education as you can, mm -hmm. but don't box it. Right. Uh, agreed. Agreed. But I, I think about the thing with the water specifically. Um, Yes, we can definitely over-consume, but we can also under-consume. Sure. Do you think it's really an, yeah. potentially enough for somebody to have half a liter a day? Well, if they were holding lots of fluid and their agni was really weak and they weren't that active, they were like sitting at home on the computer mm -hmm. lots and and had this really poor digestive system yeah. and, and there was really uh, a lot of pooling in the legs. Yeah. I don't want to say half a litre, but you know, it's quite a, there's quite a, a possibility that person is, uh, that's living off a raw food diet, mm -hmm. and there's you know there's a yeah, lot of they're they're, juicy. they're juicy already. Yeah. They're, they're getting the water through our, our arms. They're living yeah. off fruit and raw food, mm -hmm. and they're trying to do two litres of water, and they're inactive. Come on, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And there's no sweat. There's no going out. So. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to be careful about boxing anything. Yeah, I totally agree with that. But I think about the, also the listening to your body thing. This is something that I grapple with and I love exploring with people, especially educated people like yourself. I, the idea of listening to your yeah. body, mm. because sometimes we get confused and it's actually the mind mm. we're listening to. Mm. There's so mm. much conditioning mm. since yeah, sure. the day we're born, right? Sure, 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 sure. So how do we know? Like, yeah. how do we differentiate? Yeah. You know, people say, oh, I need to eat this, yeah. you know, and I'm listening to my body. And yeah. it, it, it may just be conditioning, yeah, yeah, maybe sure, brainwashing. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, you know? sure, 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 so that, that's a tricky one, I it think, is. the listening to your body, unless you're educated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about health and wellness. Yeah, sure. There's a certain, there's sometimes it's just worthwhile just having it as your underlying principle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to see if it works. Yeah. So experiment. Yeah. See, you how know? you feel. see how you feel. Yeah. Don't say I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a go, and, um, and if it doesn't work, it's something's wrong with me it just right. doesn't work for you right you know right. so but you know experiment with it give it a go but don't don't it's like anything that's gospel it's it's, it's yeah. regimented you got to watch it so yeah, yeah totally it's great keep, keep reading yeah. keep educated keep talking with educated people yeah um, and work on your third eye so that your yeah, intuition is yeah, accurate yeah <laughs> and yeah and, and have space too because you know the thing that the mind is different than the heart it doesn't have space so if you just okay, let's exhale. Let's feel if this is really doing what I think it's doing, or is it just doing it because I think it's that? Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, spaciousness is really great. Mm -hmm. well, why do they say meditation is the cure? Because it gives space. 
Yeah. It's the gap. So the clarity comes. It's the gap. Yeah. yeah. So just spaciousness in the thoughts and, and, and having a really healthy state of inquiry. Mm-hmm. You know, have a, have a you know, self-inquiry, not to doubt everything, but <coughs> have a really healthy inquiry going on. Mm-hmm. A, a daily inquiry going on. Yeah. <coughs> I did it because generations before were doing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's going to be so healthy for you. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> You're on Guru. Right? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Okay, so that's Jing and Chi, chi. in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes each. <laughs> <coughs> and we're Shen, aren't we? So my favorite Shen. I think I love Shen because it's just about love, and then if we come just about love, then it's just about us, isn't it? And I think that the the direction that Shen is pointing us to is that it's it's a, it's not me and them game. It's it's us. From Which is, me to we. It's yeah, and it's the it's the healing of the planet. It's it's the wakefulness that we started this interview with. It's what that's talking to. Mm-hmm. Wake up, come into the unification principle. Not just knowing that and reading that, but to acting that. You know, the people that are fallen in the streets yeah. are your brothers and sisters. The ones that are inspiring you with the amazing yoga class or. You know, great talks or awesome, whatever it is, success, success, whatever they do, they you as well. It's it's getting pumped uh, about what human is, you know, a human slow potential, but also feeling our our deep sense of fragility and vulnerability at the same time. So that's what the Shen is talking to: feeling really vulnerable, feeling really open. Uh, feeling the fragility of the human condition, but also in the same breath, seeing our brilliance, you know, seeing our radiance, seeing the magic, seeing the intuitiveness, it's prajna, so it's, it's a paradox. Mm-hmm. Um, it keeps coming back to the candle flame for me, Shen. It's, they say it's the Buddha mind, and I used to have a little saying in front of me when I used to do my treatments, see yourself as a candle in the doorway. And you know, no matter how windy it is, the, the candle actually doesn't go out. It doesn't even flicker. It just stays. Mm. And it, that's been a great analogy for me to watch because it's not a bushfire. You know, bushfires, are, yeah, I love Bali, I love this. Right. I'm traveling around the world. I'm not gonna have a glass of wine with you tonight. I'm gonna dance my ass off, all this. But that, that bushfire will burn out and mm. what leaves after it is charcoal, uh-huh. you know? Uh-huh. So that's, that's where we get the fire element out of it. The mm. Shen is the quiet little can of flame in a hearth. Mm. In a, this spaciousness, mm-hmm. there's this, it's in the blue flame part of it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a deep sense of peace. It's radiating out. It's about, it's about service really. We're here to serve and wake up by helping others wake up. So for me, it's, 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 it's coming home, the Shen. And that's what I say, when we come home to the Shen, the Emperor, the Kingdom, everything else doesn't really matter so much, you know? <laughs> yeah, when the heart space, it's, yeah. it's the heart space is another way of saying it, right? The Shen, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. if we're going to put it in a box. Yeah. But <laughs> well, I don't know if you remember your first relationship, if you had, and you fell in love with your partner, and wow, this is my love of my life. And, I remember, it didn't matter if you broke your arm or you lost your job or you didn't have a senti name, it didn't matter a rat's, right, <laughs> you're in right, love. Right. <laughs> you know? So it's that That's feeling. Yeah. yeah. And again, you know, the, the beautiful thing is that it's outside of this incarnation. Mm. It's not, you know, it's the eternal flame. It's eternal, within. you know, the, the, yeah. the two other treasures, the jing and the jing will dry, the so will the chi. But the, the Shen, it's, 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 it's out of this husk, it's, mm. it's, it's from another incarnation, it's a mystery, it'll move on. It, like I say, it's beyond the world of form, it's beyond the world of identity, it's beyond the world of separateness. Mm. Yeah, that's why I get all teary and juiced yeah. up by it. <laughs> I love the conversation, I love this, and sitting in the green rice fields of Bali, yeah. this is just incredible. And so you gave us some practices in the class today, some physical, some yoga yeah. practices, as well as some yeah. massage techniques sure, sure, sure. Uh, to work on, on our loved ones yeah. with, and maybe our clients if we're in that field, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is so useful um, yeah. to, I, I love that you're sharing this. Where can people learn more about what you're doing? You, are you leading retreats? What's working? Yeah, well, they can see it all on the, on the Zentai Shiatsu website. Okay. That's probably the best way to do it. There's some YouTube stuff going on there, oh, but good. they jump on Zentai Shiatsu. There's a website, so I got all the info on it. There's some great 
tutorials on there. There's some stuff on Zen Ward, Z E N W A R D, that are online doing me doing some classes. Okay, great. Uh, I do lots of classes in Australia and, and retreats and trainings in Bali, and, and, and I've been doing a little bit in Europe the last couple of years as well. So. Great. But jump on the website, it's the best access. Okay. Um, if you want some little you know, take home nuggets, you know, Jing, I would just say, I, you know, I would, I would say the, the, the beautiful thing in Jing is what, what I would call whipping, which is just standing in a horse stance and just whip your hands mm -hmm. as they're extensions yep. and make sure they tag the front and the back door of the kidneys just mm -hmm. below the navel mm -hmm. at the front and then the in between L2 and L3 at mm -hmm. the back and mm -hmm. just play with that rhythm. It's sort of like just building up there. So it's a good amount of force there? Yeah. Or? Uh huh. Daily practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That gets so the jing. Gets, gets the jing or the kid, supports the, the kidney chi and which supports the jing, they work together. Okay. So it just keeps this essence alive. Mm -hmm. That would be a great little one. Breathing into the lower jowl, you know, with this tiger mouth, this, this like hand below the navel, palm on palm below the navel. And for the guys, have the left hand facing the belly mm -hmm. and the girls the right hand facing the belly. So just breathing into that on the inhale and just feel like you're fueling the tank. Mm. Um, Chi, just so we, you know, eat, eat, eat organic food and get, drink good quality water. Mm -hmm. And I uh, know how you eat. Just Huge. Yeah, how, we, we, how, not even what, how. Mm. Spaciousness, chew well. Blessing the food. Blessing the food. Mm -hmm. You know, let, 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 let's let your food be a ritual in, in how, what you do, what you do, the choices you make, it's nourishing. And, and the other thing I think that we, we don't nourish ourselves enough is especially in this social media day is through relationship you know? yeah just have eye contact with people hold their hand yeah. just to a bow heart to heart connection heart to heart just just a, just a gap namaste you know this thing we did hey one up there <laughs> yeah you no know, the, the, we, 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 we can get really caught in this vertical alignment with spirituality but there's a, there's a horizontal plane that's happening and mm. we get really nourished there mm -hmm. you don't want to get caught there keep the vertical is the roots but in this horizontal plane of brother to sister, there's a lot of nourishment. Yeah, those heart to heart hugs. Yeah. <laughs> and then the third nourishment, you know, nature. Yeah. Spend time in nature. Barefoot, yeah. wear, don't wear shoes. <laughs> right, right. As much time in nature as possible. Yeah. Swim in the ocean, walk yeah, on the beach, yeah, yeah, yeah. sleep on the ground, yeah, yeah, sure. go camping, sure. sleep on the sure. ground, go hiking in the mountains barefoot, all that good stuff. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly. And then prajna, I suppose, is just, you know, have a meditation practice. Mm. It's important. Have a, connect to a reality outside of form. Mm. You know. um, contribution. Savor. Yeah. yeah, put your savor in. It, 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 there's no joy like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's where the prajna really comes alive, you know. Yeah. Ha have, have one thing I say for people with prajna sometimes. Uh, it's the tongue, the heart energy is the tongue. Have spaciousness in your speech. Yeah. Spaciousness in your speech. Yeah. What do you mean? Like sentence, gap, uh, sentence. Literally, like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of, we yeah. saw scattered Shen. Right. What are you doing? You know the conversation around the Christmas mm. table with your family? Mm -hmm. Scattered Shen, no everyone interrupting each right, other. Right, right. Sit in front of a flame. Mm -hmm. or a fire outside of nature and have a conversation and just love the gaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, love the gaps. The gaps, <laughs> you know, just lots of gaps. The integ integrate the, the communion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be so, comfortable in the silence. Be comfortable in silence. Perfect. Yeah. Be perfect. Yeah, yeah both yeah. alone and together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, there's some unconditioning that has to happen there. Right. You know, we, we, you know, I don't know, I had two phases, so I had to always put some music on or something. Mm -hmm. We're never lonely. Yeah, right. There's wow. Plenty to distract When us. there's a bird that's singing in the forest, how can you be lonely? Yeah. <laughs> Give yourself some time to listen to it. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Gwen. Thank you for spending this time with me. What a blessing. What a blessing to meet you and spend the time with you and be in your class. And I'm so grateful for your time now and all these people, um, you know, listening to the podcast who can be able to benefit from this conversation as well. Thank you again. Namaste. Hari um, I'll give you a hug cosmically. <laughs> give me one in the real flesh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks so much for answering the call to be here today. I'm so glad you're part of our tribe of activated rainbow warriors. If you found the show in any way empowering or inspiring, I would be so grateful if you would share the show on social media or with friends and family that you think would benefit from these conversations. And also, rate and review the show in iTunes. This is really the very best way to help support the show and help us get noticed by others who are looking for the sort of content that we're sharing. Now notice there are no outside ads playing here. That's because the show is supported by you, the listener. You can become a patron of the show with a small monthly donation by checking out the perks on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash visionary lifestyle and signing up there. There's also a one-time donation button on the podcast page of the website, if that suits you better. And just so you know, your donations help to cover the necessary out-of-pocket monthly expenses to produce the show, and will also help us grow so we can inspire and educate even more people. And hey, tribe, I'd love to hear from you. Visit me at visionary-lifestyle.com, and please tell me your comments and questions. I really look forward to connecting with you. I love you. Namaste.